to do's, reviewing the news, pop culture, video games, movies, and shoes. Quincy and Justin with a nerdy forecast. So stay a while and welcome to the Ugly Mugs Podcast. Welcome to the Ugly Mugs Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. I'm your other host, Quincy. Oh, it's been getting cold this week. I love it. uh, It was one of those things where, like, last night I was like, "Mm, I need another blanket in bed. I only... I, I I sleep warm, so I, I don't really have very much on me, but I, I radiate. And so I have a, a sheet. And last night, same thing. I was just like, you know, maybe the comforter might be what I use tonight. It, I, see, I had a thicker blanket on the bed, uh, which I had gone from the sheet to the thicker blanket like a week or two ago. And now with this, it's like, mm, yeah, no, I, I need more than this. I'm getting these colds. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I feel you. Uh, and at the end of this week, we should be getting rain, something very unexpected, but a little bit of rain should roll through. Uh, I, I, yes, yes, I know Twitch, please. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, but oh, just going to breeze through a couple of Humble Bundle stuff real quick. Uh, the Dark, Hor- uh, Dark Pictures and Little Nightmares Horror Collection. Uh, featuring all four of the Dark Pictures things and all three of the Little Nightmares games for only $20. Uh, and this one helps out the Covenant House, which is um, basing, basically making sure that there's immediate food, shelter, immediate crisis care for any homeless or trafficked young individuals or just anyone who is just having issues at home. They also provide uh, mental health counseling as well as... Um, child services that make sure that the child stays with the parent as best as possible. And it also helps out breaking through T1D, helping type 1 diabetes research and uh, just making sure that we can get rid of it, which we are almost done from what they are saying. We are case closed. We just need the right amount of these medicines to get as well. I had a diabetes scare the other month and freaked me out. Boop. It is also a Halloween festival. There are some really good games on sale right now, such as Persona 3 is 40% off, uh, and then Street Fighter 5, 50% off, you know? They, these deals are great, and quickly dusking through them. Disco Elysium for 10 bucks. I recommend it very highly. Inscription for $8. Uh, Cult of the Lamb for 12 50 50% off. And another bundle popped up, and I forgot about that. I should probably have that one sooner. But Dragon Age and Mass Effect Encore. We talked about the original. This one is the same, but a couple more, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was 16 the last time. It's 18 now. Uh, But a whole bunch of really nice Dragon Age and Mass Effect comics slash novels. I love the covers of the Dragon Age ones. They are probably the best I've ever seen. Beautiful, good looking. beautiful artwork. Oh, I don't want to look at the, the, the previews. Not again. Not since the uh, uh, crazed coloring book that I opened up the last time. This charity helps out, however. Child's Play Charity. Child's Play helps out bring video games and game system for sick children all over the world. Make sure that uh, uh, kids still enjoy the games that they can play and bring joy that way. We love that shit. And starting tomorrow, I'm going to be playing something. Uh, are you going to hop in on the uh, Monster Hunter Wilds beta? I don't know how the time or the space. Yeah, it's only, yeah I heard it's only 40 gigs, but you, fair enough. Um, this is only going to be for three whole days, and I am excited to hop into this beta. I am happy that they are releasing these. I have watched so much stuff on TikTok over the PlayStation 5 players that can play this. It looks so good. Clashes against the big beast, being able to scale up walls a lot easier. Uh, weapons have these much more uh, accessible arts that you can do. Ah. Uh, but starting tonight at 8 p.m., we'll be able to pre-download it for the rest of us. Those who have had it on the PS5, you lucky devils, will just keep be able being able to play. So have fun with that. Speaking of wilds, 
They also dropped a fifth trailer uh, showing off a new area that doesn't look fun. Uh, covered in what looks to be boiling tar. Uh, what is that? I have no idea. But it's it, it is born and wrought of the Black Flame. And the Black Flame, I guess, is this long-aged prophecy that no, no creature can wield the Black Flame, but this one that comes out of the um, Forge-ish area uh, seems to really go, okay, we can make fire hotter than that and make black fire. And so it, at the very end of the trailer, it shows you being clenched on by it and spat on good. <laughs> spat on by the black flame. Uh, 10 out of 10, don't want. Yeah. But I am so freaking excited that uh, we get to play on Monster Hunter Wilds. The map system looks amazing. There's an auto travel system. If you're looking for materials, it shows you where all the materials are. If you've found them once before, you can go straight to it. It has auto driving, so that we are not trying to look up and down on different layers of the map. Capcom made this game a lot more accessible, and I am very appreciative of it. I want to get into that combat, though. Uh, speaking of the... Yeah. Huh? I said plus cats. Plus cats! Uh, thankfully, with the PlayStation 5, uh, there, there have been people showing off their, uh, their wonderful palicos and how they look, how adorable... Uh, some look a little uh, licensed to other games, while other uh, <laughs> ballsy considering the current lawsuit. That is ballsy, but it it's likeness. It's it's likeness. It is using the in-game system to make it this way. I I would I would argue, um, but I do like how your palico could have a lot more than the uh, twelve styles that the old one used to have. This one has a little bit more open variety, and I'm excited to. Uh, make my palico yeah i i wonder if you, i wonder if it'll get that deep because the character creator got real deep like there was a person who made uh ganondorf from uh breath of the kingdom huh. yeah we'll see Gabo uh last week quincy threw something at me that he forgot about and we're talking about it now the thing remastered thanks to night dive studios um i I think I touched the original for a brief second on the OG Xbox, I think. I mean, it's older than that, isn't it? 2002. Did they do an Xbox port? Jesus. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it's, it's ringing something in the back of my ear. Like, this looks familiar to me. But it, it's, it's very... hazy. But I'm excited to definitely climb into this again. Go through it again. This looks like fun. Uh, the trailer, however, is a little uh, not safe for work because there's a lot of blood and, and animal crunching. Yeah, no, we are right with that. But uh, it, it says coming soon. Hopefully it'll be by the end of this year or at least in a, a date by the end of this year. One can hope. Uh, but do. I played almost 30 hours of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And I enjoyed every hour of it. So you don't like the game. Gotcha. Oh, no, no. I Treyarch, Treyarch cooked. Treyarch put this on the oven and said, we are going to make ourselves the kings of arcade. We want this to be fun. We don't want this to be no tactical shooter. We don't want this to be a 66. Well, no, you are running in, shooting a bunch of people, falling over, capturing a point, whatever you need to do, but you are back in the contest. You're you're still having fun. They did that. I wonder what made them be like that because that has not been how they have been for several games from my understanding. You are correct. And I think it was when Activision kept stuffing a lot of different people's pockets with Cold War, I want to say, because that was when Sledgehammer was like, I want to help. I'm I'm a, I'm a help. I'm Sledgehammer. I I made I made Warzone first. And Treyarch's like, well, we have puzzles and story and, you know, characters that we we want to portray. OK, well, no. And then Sledgehammer made the uh, Cold War version of Warzone and nobody liked it 
Um, Zombies is fun. Zombies is great. Terminus is my favorite map. Liberty Falls, second favorite. Great. I, I am here for whatever maps they continue to bring out. These are fantastic. Uh, the Easter eggs, as Sox says in chat, there's a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, there's uh, a bowling alley where you can bowl over zombies. Uh, she calls me a traitor for liking Terminus a little bit more. I like my facilities. I'm sorry. Uh, Liberty Falls uh, is fun. Nuketown's coming back, right? Nuketown is coming back November 6th. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall the date. I'm sorry. My brain is... A, uh, click, click. Yeah, I don't have a date. November 1st, says Sox. I will take that. But I am here for everything that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going to be pushing out over the next year until the next game. Um, I don't know what the next game is going to be. I hope it's not another Modern Warfare. I am done with Modern Warfare thinking. I just, if they made another Black Ops and made a Black Ops 7... And it's literally the same game, but with more maps and just more content. Thumbs up by me. Honest to God. It's a fun game. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Probably going to play a little bit once we're done. <laughs> so, I have two issues with Nintendo Music. One... There's very few GameCube games that I would want to listen to. I want to know, am I getting the highest quality or am I just getting game rip? Like, I, I where am I sitting? Because if I get, let's say, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, am I getting the N64 64-bit maximum or am I getting lossless flack? Where Here's it my is. thing. Yes. I don't want a secondary music app. I already that have music app. That is fair. That, that, that is fair. And to have it organized by characters, by the artists of Splatoon, like, this was an idea, but do it through YouTube Music or sign a deal with Spotify. Like, there's so many better ways you could have done this. Um, I am... It also totally just looks like a YouTube logo. It, um, it my other does. question is, is, how much does this fucking cost? I don't... No. Oh, uh, active Nintendo Switch Online members. So it's a part of your Nintendo Switch Online membership. Oh, this is a free thing I'm just being thrown at. Oh, yeah, okay. I feel a lot better about this whole thing. Yeah, no. It's... I thought this was a new service they're trying to sell and trying to convince us to go do while everyone already has a music service. Nope. If you have... That's a lot better. Yeah, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you get it. And I guess that's better if you like Nintendo that much. They also have, I'm actually glad I paused it on this point. They actually have something to where you're like, I haven't played this game and it's on this playlist. And sometimes music can kind of give away the plot. So there is spoiler prevention and then you just block the <laughs> yeah, game. When the, same, when the song is named, you know, oh, then they killed her. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, fucking, um, the fuck is it called fire emblem has a song literally called don't be defeated by a friend and it's oh, like shit. oh uh, <laughs> so i'm i'm happy that they made this it ain't for me youtube music still has all of the music i listen to that even remotely goes toward uh nintendo in any way shape or form but most of them are remixes so i'm just like if they fall off they fall off i'm not mad at it but this like now that I know it's a free thing, I, I any negative thought I really had against it is pretty much gone because it's like they're not trying to sell me a thing. This is just something getting thrown in sweet. The thing I worry about your YouTube music is a lot of the stuff that I see on YouTube. I don't have YouTube music, mm. but a lot of stuff I see on YouTube music, I'm like, mm, how's the licensing working on that? And how long before a cease and desist gets sent out or someone gets sued or something? Hmm. Um, because there's some there's some oddball shit to some of the um, YouTube music stuff. You are correct. I I've been a YouTube music person for three years, and I have had zero issue with them looking for a song, well, I mean, pulling it. But your movies are. I mean, I mean, like the content staying there. You know, like the, like that's what back. I'm. That's what I'm getting to. Where I'm like, I haven't had anything. I've only had two songs disappear. And one was because the artist wanted to re-render it and put out an, e an actual EP for it. 
and the second one was a video game soundtrack that wasn't being uploaded by the original uh, artist. And I was like, okay, that that makes sense. But when you have like Vivos, the YouTube Vivos, where they upload those, the the music videos, right? Bam, you automatically have that song added to your YouTube music. Like I just I just listened to Tyler the Creator's new song this morning. It, yeah, I, and I get that, and that you know, but there's a big difference from the Vivos and a lot of the other stuff that's on there, and that's the only thing that I said to go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that's working. Well, for now it's working. I ain't gonna kick it out of bed, but uh, I concur. Uh, they also promise music added over time, which makes me very happy. Which means this is gonna consistently be updated with newer music, and I hope they have like an up update page that says hey we've added these games or hey we've added these songs from this game because not all the songs are probably going to be plus plus but f-zero x hello give me that mute city uh, i could see this working out for those who enjoy nintendo a little bit more than me anyways uh, but do. quincy do you like espn uh, i feel neither direction about ESPN. I only watch one sport and I will watch that sport anywhere that I can watch my game. That is fair. <laughs> um, well, ESPN for- Football Island on Fortnite is up and running and it's basically just a, a simple uh, attack, defend, payload, push, but the payload is a football and you're pushing it up. Really. And... This is just Fortnite. Yeah, this is just Fortnite with uh, funny he who 4v4 fights. Where you get uh, riot shields, uh, sniper rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, and you just push a ball. And it's just payload. All right, then. Yeah. Yeah, Let me go grab the code real quick. Uh, If you are in the chat, you get the code. If you're not, eh, just Google it. It's, It's on ESPN's YouTube, which is even funnier. But there's the code right there in the bottom right. And ba dupe. Uh, a game got announced not too long ago, and it's a very interesting concept of why did the chicken cross the road? Now, the chicken crossed the road, he survived, but when he was across the road, he died! And you, as a inquisitive squirrel, must figure out what happened to that chicken. Uh, you meet a whole bunch of colorful cast and individuals with a very interesting art style and L.A. Noir-esque uh talking prompts uh i might hop into this one uh it looks very trivial an interesting concept it is a very interesting concept but it does seem very foolish when like it's got a ddr style talk to game where you're talking to them and you're trying not to break eye contact at least i think that's what this is I need more more details. I'm hoping I get it one more one more uh, trailer before launch. Yup. I think it's fun and interesting concept. I don't know that I'm necessarily gonna like go out my way for it, but I welcome to it. Yeah, well, maybe it'll pop on Game Pass sometime. Oh, but nope. Speaking of popping on Game Pass, uh, Fallout 76 broadcast of 2024 happened last week, literally while we were streaming our podcast. Uh and it showcased a lot of what they've already had and what is to come, uh, such as the things, all of their uh, seasonal events that they've come out with. And I've kind of kept up with, but I haven't played most of them. Uh, Quincy was a big fan of it back when it started off. Now, going back, do you think there's too much content to climb into? Not at all. Um, I, I, I think it's just very much... A situation of there's content I do want to play and content that, yeah, maybe eventually, but I'm not like pushing to get to. Um, also, it's still very much a game built around the concept of playing with others. So when when my uh, people aren't around and whatnot, it's a little bit less fun, and I find that I don't really achieve much when I play the game solo. That's fair. Um, if anything, adding all the new content while fun and amazing, the one downside I can see is that a lot of it is going to be like. Stuff where if you do get people to come back to the game, they got to work some levels to be able to go and do this. Yeah, they they've had they have seven big raids right now, and a lot of people are like, yeah, these these are tough. 
Uh, I do remember seeing uh, a few very funny he who glitches on my TikTok wa watching people play this game. It it does seem like they've fixed a lot. It does seem like they've put in a lot more effort to make sure that There's this game is running sm smoothly compared to the weird jagged edges back in season one and two when I was around. Um, But they talk about dogs and cats coming to the game being able to have nice pets and i'm like well you know hopefully they can act like dog meat would i would like to have a, a dog meat companion in 76 i wonder if they'll some... be a full-blown companion or if it'll just be like a base thing or a camp thing oh unsure i didn't see much of that in the time i brisked through it but there is a couple really funny animations uh if you go over to Bethesda Softworks' uh youtube channel it's all uploaded there it's about maybe 40 minutes a little under of content and them talking and also dressed up as uh ghouls and uh talking more about the show and how excited they were to help work out with the show and you know the people who work on on fallout really have a lot of heart for the for these projects and it shows uh did fallout the show get uh, upped for second season? Yeah, like almost immediately. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I was I was correct on that. Hugo in chat I think says, it won awards too. I think it did also. Uh, Hugo in chat says, "Good evening, apes." And I'm more of an orangutan, but you know, I want to be like you. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, ready for this? Rita's Rewind uh, dropped a really cool trailer that I liked start to finish maybe feel like i was watching old school cartoons um the combat style is that of like golden axe but then it goes into a super punch out style uh beat em up and then for the racing scenes it goes into a uh kind of like a i guess ikaruga style because ikaruga also does this variant but it looks i almost wanted to say battle pads i was like oh no that was still side so. I th I think they had a forward one of that later on in like Battletoads with uh, fucking Double Dragon, but Maybe. even st I even still, this looks fantastic. I might get this. Um, oh yeah, Wild Guns. Uh, uh no. Ah. Uh. Da 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very similar to Sunset Riders in the first person going forward style. Is that in this one? No. Then disregard. But it does remind me of it a lot. Uh, when does this drop? The December 10th on all platforms. Yippee. I'm actually really hyped that mm, mm -hmm. you get to buy it on a Switch. Uh, Badoop. Okay, Quincy and I both have an issue with this game right now. What we're about to talk about. Death Note, Killer Within. It is Among Us with extra steps. It, it, it is Among Us, but with a detective role. I mean... They've already well, added that. Sounds kind of cool. They've I, already I, added I, that to uh, Among Us. Yeah, so my whole thing on this is like why I build a whole game and just shake hands with Among Us. Because Bandai Namco still wants money. This is Bandai Namco producing this, so... It, it, I mean, they could still make money off of the Among Us deal. I don't know. Bandai Namco's making some weird decisions. Like, they're wanting to re-release Dark Souls 3, and I was like, that didn't come out too long ago. It still looks good. Why are we re-releasing Dark Souls 3? I don't know, but you are correct. This this doesn't need to exist. Sorry, Bandai, but I wouldn't pay a dollar. Like I'm not like trying to hate on the game. It just seems like a crazy concept to sit there and go, let's build something that basically already exists, but with our skin, <laughs> and then try to get everyone to come to it. Like it's like every time. Like don't get me wrong, I love the idea of the kill, uh, Killer Clowns game, but I did sit there going, I already have. Uh, why can't I never remember the name of the game? Um, the one where you play this is the killer or the survivors. Um, Dead by Daylight? 
Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I sat there when I already had Dead by Daylight, so, like, why would I need to buy a Killer Clowns game when this could be a Dead by Daylight mode? Yeah. And kind of felt the same way about the Evil Dead one. I still wanted the games. I still would possibly buy the games if there's a good enough sale. But I'm not, like, actively going out of my way to get them because it's like, I've got Dead by, Day- Dead by Daylight. And that's kind of what this feels like. It's like, this looks like a fun concept, a fun twist on the Among Us thing, but it didn't need to be a whole game. Yeah. Socks and Tats says Town of Salem. Kind of. You don't have all the other ones that allow you to, like, investigate anything. So, all you have is just being able to look at other players' IDs by standing near them for a period of time. I don't know the full benefit of it. This ah, missed me with this game, though. Nah. Rah. However, a game that I shan't miss with, Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. Um, I've had a lot of people yell at me to play Xenoblade Chronicles, so if you have a Nintendo Switch and you want to play up 80 90 hours worth of xenoblade one and two there you go that it is probably gonna only be 40 bucks because xenoblade has never crossed the threshold of 40 dollars so if you want to get both of the xenoblades for inexpensive yeah a very darling uh dungeon in style game where it has turn-based, but I'm unsure of its combat prowess, where you play as a girl and a cat friend, Tabaxi, that are just trying to make an inn for wary travelers. However, feeding them and gambling and giving them energy drinks to make it through their stays before reaching your inn... Now I feel like I need one of those energy drinks... I'm I'm about there. I would like an energy drink. <laughs> but this cup of coffee ain't being enough. Uh, oh yeah. Do you have a cup? Co- oh yeah, I never did that this uh this session. I'm sorry. Did you have a drink? No, you're good. It's just a Starbucks cake up. It's, cake up. it's nothing fancy. Yeah, and I I bought a Ricky. Like hold on, let me let me let me get that. Let me get that. Let me Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Mm. All right. But November 14th, I believe, was the... Yes, November 14th is the early access for it, so go and uh, wishlist it right now if you happen to be into these nice, cozy, little uh, management-style games. Ba-doop. Um, in the midst of a uh, lawsuit, Pal World still decided to release the official Halloween Skins trailer. And make money. They gotta make money. Uh... It looks fine. It looks spoopy whoopy. They did have this very similar last year, uh, where the only two creatures. This one seems to have about six or seven or so, and then something for your main character, for your uh, player character also. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but I do. Disney Dreamlight Valley, the storybook veil. Uh, seems to be adding in Hercules, Tangled, and I saw a statue of Maleficent somewhere back here. Yeah, or no, a picture of Maleficent back here. And the game is pretty. The game is... You're a frog! I don't want to be a frog. You can't make me be a frog. I wasn't trying to make you be a frog, I was just saying there was a frog there. Oh. I don't want to be a frog, though. Uh, the game struck me as very busybody and it gave you a lot of things to do i just wasn't at the missed i i like having objectives don't get me wrong but i also need bonus rewards or, or rewards for what i finish the clothing they're adding is um a part of their what is that uh clothing line that they have um I don't either. Something fly. Something fly. Oh, lounge fly. Lounge fly. Thank you. Um, they added a lot of their lounge fly stuff as uh, clothing pieces for this expansion pass as well. Um, neutral to all points. Oh God, you have to crush them. No, we're out of here. Uh, Vampire Hunters, uh, you like first-person shooters, you like old-school, uh, tower defenses, this might be for you. 
where you can have literally 80 guns on your person and there are 7,500 things on screen at once. This roguelite adventure is heavy, very heavy. They make sure about dream. I have a lot of shit to do. Yeah. (laughs) If you, if you enjoy having a lot of shit on screen, go flying off the side of things. If you like Bloons Tower Defense, but in a first-person perspective, this is probably for you. Uh, Vampire Hunters, I believe it said play now. So yeah, play now. I believe it was $14? $14.99? On sale for $11.99? Let me go check it out real quick. Yeah, I was right. $14.99? $11.99 on sale. Uh, but do... Um... Something very unexpected out of left field from the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack N64 update. A old retro-style VHS ad played for Shadow Man and then for Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. I am actually here for both of these, even though I haven't paid for Nintendo Switch Online since 2022, 2021, end of 2021 feel like if I still owned a Switch, that would actually be where I spent an embarrassing amount of my Switch time. In Shadow Man? No, it, like, just in the retro games. Oh, in the retros? Yeah, they've added a lot since they started it up. And, I mean, they said that there was a rumor around the rumor mill that they're going to add GameCube games soon. And I'm like, if you do this, do you, do you hear me, Nintendo? If you add... Eternal Darkness or any of the other good GameCube games on on your on your Switch, you have my money. Do do you hear me? Do, please. <laughs> but uh Turok 2 is also a very fun game. Uh but do Oh boy, where do I begin with this one? So Firewalk Studios. Uh, was hi- was pulled up by Sony, told to make a hero-style shooter with a little bit of story and heart. And thus Concord, or Project Concord, was started. Skip ahead seven and a half years when they finally have their first beta. It goes well. A lot of players were in it. A lot of feedback was had and a lot of changes were made up until the release of Concord. Two weeks after Concord's release... The servers go offline. Refunds are had. Skip ahead a little under a month, and Firewalk Studios is no more. Sony has closed them down. Holy shit. I mean, there was no advertisement done for the game. The game didn't do well. I got a Reach couple on tick I got a couple on TikTok, but Easy shit. Yeah, not a lot. Um, it's like you know i sit here and watch our, uh, to our stream like i'm watching our stream right now and we've been rolling ads we've had a coffee ad we've had um a wicked ad we're currently getting a what is this oh uh, american express ad there was like two other ads in there you know what i mean like you know there's places to run ads and stuff like that you didn't try to advertise your video game on a video game streaming website so on and so forth the game failed that's not the developer's fault no. Like, going and shutting down the developer because you, Sony, the the powerhouse behind it, didn't fucking handle shit right. It's a little wild. Yeah. Now, through um, the... From what I saw, now you said that you had heard that some of them might be going over to Bethesda. It's Everything either... I saw was that people were moved over to just other sections of Sony, and so... That is also what I heard. Um, they weren't uh, I, actually I, fired, I, so at least there's that. I heard three things. One, that they were subsidized and liquidated amongst Sony and or... Uh, downsized before moving over so only a few people lost their spot the second part was the bethesda thing where um a couple of people were picking up through twitter and being like hey we, we can use some people over here f- to help out with these new projects cool another one was arcane arcane um not lion but the other one was saying um we're gonna be starting up a project that we would like some new character models on come and help out uh unsure or even about how that processing goes, but I hope everyone involved with Concord is on a path to wellness because I have never in my life seen a live service game start 
finish and cease to exist in a span of a month. We've seen some pretty bad launches in our times, so though, looking over it. Uh... You're right. Oh, what was it? What was the one that EA, or was it EA? The one that was breaking people's consoles. Oh, um... I know what you're talking about. Uh, Anthem. Yeah. Yeah, Anthem. Anthem was rough. We've seen some bad launches in our times. And it was... it, And I played it post-issue, and it's fine. It was serviceable. No Man's Skies? No Man... Okay. No Man's Sky... uh, I understand the reasoning, but that doesn't change that it wasn't a really bad launch. You are correct. You are correct, but they uh, just released a Halloween update that looks really fucking scary. Um, I I concur with with No Man's Sky. Uh, there's one more in the past that had a lot. Manhunt. Manhunt was one that had no marketing except for how gory the game was, and then it I got mean, pulled from. The... Yeah, I was gonna say, look at the material on that one. Yeah, it got pulled from shelves in Australia. It is one. Well, this of the... was supposed to be a live service game right yes sir yeah stop doing my service game studios nobody wants them like that's why they keep failing that's one of the reasons why just league a kill uh a kill a suicide squad kills just league did so poorly it's one of many reasons but it, it definitely doesn't help the fucking game any it made it worse yeah um like stop doing my service games people don't want them the few that they have that are successful are only going to be the few that are successful because people don't have the time or the money to do multiple live service games anyways correct uh, and then, meanwhile, we're looking over at B- Black Ops 6, which uh, th- the rumors through the rumor mill on that one are Treyarch pretty much stiff-armed um, Activision and said, please, I, we don't want any bundles. We'll do the season pass. That's not going to be a problem. We will do that for you. But no extra bundles, no extra purchases. Um, maps, sure, we'll charge for maps. Um if you want us to do uh like skins for people they were like eh, they were kind of like shaking their heads so i i will pr- predict that black ops 6 is not going to have that much like paying uh to get skins paying to get uh gun camos no this is going to be a lot of earning them or buying the battle pass that's the thing is the battle pass and selling skins is the only thing that makes sense to make money post launch on these games is anything else you try to charge for outside of like a map maps is going to be problematic yeah maps so the their idea that they shot was two multiplayer maps one zombie map per pack and i'm like ooh wait that's kind of like how you guys did back then <laughs> back in world of war days where you got uh two multiplayer maps and uh like kino or not kino what was the second map that came out shangri-la and I was like, "That do that, do that. If you can do that, that'd be great." But Concord dead on arrival, dead before he was even born. Poor guys. Uh, any other gaming news before I continue on? I don't think so. <laughs> but up, up, ugly shoot news. This is if you lived in a PS One game. Mm-mm-mm. These shoes look great. They look like you are wearing rocks. You like wearing rocks on your feet? See, even socks and chat. Quote, unquote, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, these shoes are brought to us by a diamond supply company. They seem very adamant on making okay. it diamond. And I'm like, eh. They're supposed to be reminiscent of the easy slides. But I personally, I don't see the, the appeal of this. Uh, they are not. I laying in the middle of the road the other night. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are going to be $90. What kills me is it sounds like I'm setting up for something. I was driving down the road. I was like, that is a fucking easy. Just laying in the middle of the road. I'm okay. going to drive on by. <laughs> it, it was just sitting there the clean or the, did it look oh, like? Very much not clean and very much laying on its side. Huh. Like, I don't know if someone was hit so hard they fell out of their shoe or what, but I saw it. That I was like, hmm. Uh, the only thing I could see these for is probably like a PlayStation 1 character cosplay. Otherwise, these are not good. Um, unsure of its price tag, but they are by an actual Diamond Supply company, so something tells me they're going to be a little eh, in price. 
shoes that I know Quincy will like. Scooby-Doo and Puma have a wonderful collaboration that make it look like the Mystery Machine. Uh, oh, both yeah. of the both of the styles of shoes are really nice. The uh, very loud, very wild uh, Puma MB 04s always have this like scattered of like paint on the front, and it really suits this style of shoe well when it looks like the Mystery Machine. However, the tongue has this very strange phoenix with the one on it. I can't really. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm wondering if that's like changeable because one of the other images, it's definitely not the tongue. Oh, no, that's a different shoe. That's this one. Oh, okay. And this gotcha. one is a little bit more, of course, the authentic. And it has the tire in the back. That's cute. Uh, yeah, Scooby-Doo on the... for these ones. Yeah, these ones, I believe... Let me see here. For the MBO4s, 135 And for the Puma Suede's that you might be interested in, $95. Both of them to be released on November 27th, 2024. Not bad, oh, just Christ. before... Not bad for before Christmas, too. All right, now. Uh, these are very loud, but I would still probably wear these. Uh, my roommate the other night pointed out, or yesterday, I was wearing um, striped orange and neon colored uh, Frankenstein socks. And I had a blue sweater on. And he's like, I don't understand. You're sitting over there wearing orange and blue. I'm like, man, just have fun in life. Not everything has to be a rule. <laughs> I know, right? Well, I mean, these these do look very dirt clingy just because they are that suede, that that very interesting fabric. Right. Yeah. Uh, now, Quincy, this next this next shoe is something I don't think you understand could be a shoe. I will give you the price tag and I want you to Guess what kind of shoe it is. One thousand six hundred and forty dollars. Is it made out of a precious metal? Close silicone for the most part. Is it a shoe that also doubles as some kind of gaming device? I'll give it to you. It's a computer. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, it is $1,609.30 plus a little bit of tax for a red and white, almost Shadow the Hedgehog looking shoe that is ridiculous specs. It is one step above Nova. It is scary good in a form fit Sneaker X the Goat, quote unquote, uh, case. It is a very interesting computer uh over on woot a an amazon subsidiary that sells overstock or extra prime deals that they can't sell in surplus they throw it on here and it sells for up to 80 percent off depending on what it is people were buying these immediately it sold Here's out i think one your foot's gonna get warm as shit in that oh hell Two, yeah it is better not step in a pedal a puddle. So, funny thing, on the bottom of the radiator, so I don't think so. <laughs> but the puddle part, yeah. The, you gotta hope that the whole thing is fucking pretty tight. You know, watertight. No, it's not. It isn't. <laughs> it, it, no. But, um, it, the cool thing about, uh, some of the Woot stuff is they'll showcase, um, benchmarks. So it'll show you how it is on, um, like, 1080p, 1440 or so on on low medium high ultra settings just so that way you can get a feel for what frame rate you're gonna get when you play the game um all these games look like they are easily playable on ultra except for hitman 3 hitman 3 seems a little rough uh on ultra but everything else runs pretty good on it i i don't think i would get this over nova personally uh, right. there's no way i'm buying this the thing is more than my car is probably worth at this point oh no yeah. i don't know about all that you haven't seen my car recently <laughs> fair <laughs> fair uh let's go do uh 
I watched a couple episodes of Like a Dragon, the Yakuza show that's on Amazon Prime that I was kind of a little worried that it wasn't going to stay true to it. And I was right. It does better as a mob drama, like uh, uh, Sopranos, but in Japan type. And without the the excess humor that kind of comes with the Sopranos, but, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say excess humor when it comes to Sopranos. Okay, what, what little humor the Sopranos has, then? Yeah. If this is drier than that, then there's some problems, because the games have some humor to them. Yeah, they do. And this, the first, well, the first two episodes that I've seen is lukewarm. Like, you, you get a feel for Kiryu, and I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. Um, They changed on how he joined the Dojima clan, and I was like, oh, we're not attaching it at all. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. It's eh. always interesting when they do that. Like, why not just use what's like what's there what's already worked what people are saying hey this is what we want to see uh, so funny thing sega backed this so sega's writing the whole story well yeah of course they backed it i mean it's their ip but i'm just saying like i've never understood why every time we do one of these we're going to make a video game into a something thing they just don't want to use the fucking source stuff hmm. like why they want to like you know just use a skeletal structure i've just i just don't understand it I mean, it, it, it made, okay, so, uh, Kiryu is a, an orphan, and it doesn't really go into much detail on that. The show kind of does a little bit more detail on that, but it adds in his caretaker and who he is, and how he had, how he had ties to the Dojima clan. And I was like, okay, so that's kind of, kind of how it was it was someone who wasn't connected to him pulling him in so there are parallels it's just not what i know i i don't know i'll give you a little bit more once i probably get through half the season but so far as far as action and how things play out oh top notch so far so good speaking Speaking of so far, so good. Oh, I'm very excited for all of the things that dropped with the uh, roadmap for Disney Plus for the Marvel side of things. And uh, Daredevil Born Again got a little snippet trailer. Uh, I was happy with all of it. There was a couple characters that caught our vi well, your vision more than mine, um, such as Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> uh is it it's at the beginning right nope it's after this there he is so a homie with uh eyes that are <laughs> bleeding -ish. yeah both he and i were, were curious on it and he says i ain't get the foggiest idea and i was like is that foggy um but yeah some new characters old characters looking very good um, he's got a new, I think that was the sidekick that was fighting the later person. I don't know, but good looking costume as, as normal. Uh, John Berthenol's back as Punisher. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I may have confirmed. Oh, I thought that looked like U.S. agent for a second. I'm telling you, man, it's not going to be U.S. agent. Ah. <laughs> he's in Thunderbolts. He's in Thunderbolts. Um, but new weapons, new takedowns, uh, you know, just him being a lawyer. Uh, we also got an animated featurette of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, which showcases Peter in his first year of high school with coming to grips with power and also school problems. Uh, Ironheart, which goes in back to um, Wakanda and building up an Iron Man-like suit to help protect the world. I don't know too much about Ironheart, but this looks fun. This looks great. Uh, what if season three? I still need to watch season two, but this looks more fun. Marvel Zombies. Um, I remember reading a little bit of Marvel Zombies not too long ago. And then okay, something. I found out who it is. Who what is? That character, he's called Muse. He's a killer slash uh, serial killer slash misunderstood artist. Uh, he was created in 2016. 
Huh. Okay. I'll, I'll look more into that then. But something that you said you didn't know too, too much about, Wonder Man. Um, and you said they there were poses very similar to comic book stills, yeah? Yeah, I've seen some like side by sides that look really good, but I, I never watched. I uh, not watched. I uh, never read Wonder Man, so um, I don't really know much about that. But uh, I'm pretty sure that was Ben Kingsley. Yeah, so Ben Kingsley, Kingsley's back as his character from Iron Man three. The false and, Mandalorian. Yeah, uh, not Mandalorian. Uh, but yes, uh, I, you Mandarin. know what I mean. Mandarin. Yes. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. Uh you know. I'm actually very curious on how this is going to go, because if it's a part of Marvel, it's, it's got something to do with superheroism. Uh, yeah, I... I'm pretty sure he has powers. I just don't know anything. Mm. Eyes of Wakanda, which another thing set in uh, Wakanda and the the strife with them. And it, of course, says Deadpool and Wolverine because it's coming to Disney Plus November 12th. Hang on, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, nope, we're going to back it up a little bit. November 12th for Deadpool and Wolverine. And What If Season 3, December 22nd. Skip ahead a little bit. We have ourselves Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man January 29th daredevil born again which is a big one that i've heard uh, i mean like big as in big season march 4th ah. far away. huh so why is it so far away i know right uh iron heart june 24th uh eyes of wakanda august 6th october 2025 for marvel zombies Wonder Man next year, December. And that's so far the roadmap. Yep. That's everything. I, you know, I'm happy with how Marvel is being treated. Yeah, there's some fun stuff in there. Um, uh, I watched two episodes of Echo, though, and I was like, eh. I haven't started yet. It's on my list. I got the last few episodes of Agatha tonight after we're done with this. Oh, I, I haven't even started on Agatha. Okay. How is it? I liked it. You liked it? Okay. Yeah. A uh, boo. Something we're both kind of interested in. Pepsi Wild... I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Pepsi Wild Cherry and Cream. Uh, thank you, snack -o -later. Uh We meant to thank you last week for having all those really cool snacks. Well, here's this one also. Wild Cherry and Cream. It sounds good with a little bit of Pepsi. I just, I don't know. I, I would I would want to try a can rather than buying a whole 12 pack. But it does look yeah, good. That's, that's the problem with when they do these new flavors is it's like, I don't want to buy a 12 pack for something that I may fucking hate. Oop, and I accidentally closed out of one of the things you sent me. That's why I was like, wait, where did it go? You monster. I'm sorry. I was excited because it was... Uh, Taco Bell Decades Menu drops October 31st with the Caramel Apple Empanada coming back November 21st. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I love the Caramel Apple Empanada from Taco Bell. It was one of my favorite things. Um, the Tostada I heard was good, but I don't know. Uh, the Mexi Melt I also heard was a fine one. Uh, green burrito. Everyone likes it. The green burrito when they were fused with Taco Bell's and the beef gordita supreme. I didn't know that left. Um. So my big thing out of this is going to be the uh, the uh, empanada. Also, I said this to my mom, um, and she was like, "No, nah, I mean this just isn't doing it for me because you know, um, a lot. You know, there's a lot been a lot of things um from like her time of like having Taco Bell in high school that are just gone nowadays." Uh, uh, I was like, well, well, you know, what do you think of this? And she just kind of looked over it, and she was like, you know, I want the the chicken soft tacos back. That's the only thing that I really ever ate from there. Uh, yeah, Mexi Melt I heard was a good one. You just I would probably say no pico, but you know, I'll give it a shot uh, along with a caramel apple empanada. And last but not least, something very out of left field, but I'm kind of here for. Uh, I was a huge fan of the scary movie franchise for the first three, and were the I was very mixed, very mixed after that. So I was very mixed because I can watch the first like 
two at least and be like, they're solid, I understand them, they're funny, they're very airplane, and I'm more of a young Frankenstein when it comes to my spoofs, but it's fine. Where I took issue is that Scream is one of my all-time favorite movies, and a lot of people in my generation can't, for some reason, separate Scary Movie and Scream. Oh, the weather. And so... Yeah, so there there was all kinds of shit that they would just sit there and be like, "What well, you? That's your what well, your favorite movie is that movie with this, this, and this." I'm like, no, that's a scary movie. What you know? Like, that was always kind of my thing. But yeah, the Wayans left after like number two or number three, and so they're finally coming back and they're doing number six. I mean, I'm excited for it. That means that we're gonna get a whole lot of new age spoofs. Hmm, I'm happy. I'm I'm curious. I want to see the trailer. I'm I want to see the trailer coming up. I mean, I, I mean, does it even say anything? Um, Not really. I think they're just announcing. I think I feel like the deal was penned, and that's probably it. You know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll definitely see. I'll probably rewatch uh, Scary Movie One over the next week or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but do. And that's all we got for today. Anything else you got, Q? That's all I got. Alrighty. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, remember to like and subscribe where you can. Remember to check down the descriptions for Quincy and my Twitter. Uh, I might be changing over to Blue Sky soon, but we'll see in the near future. I'm on threads. I don't even know about Blue Sky. Uh, we'll discuss that and we'll change accordingly. Uh, remember to check out Humble Bundle for some very good deals on some scary games as well as um, Persona 3 Reload for half off. Come on. Uh, remember to check out Zenny for their 25% off any style glasses. It could be prescription, transe- uh, transitions, um, the blue light lens, all of those. Even those really nice frames. Boom, 25% off. Go ahead and use that link down in the description and get started on that. Uh, of course check out the discord and at the end of days at the end of weeks at the end of months at the end of years love one another it is free to do goodbye everybody bye everyone oh god i almost blacked out there